Hello friends, welcome to my channel Spinning World. Now I would like to explain yarn costing. In cotton spinning, we can see how we can calculate the yarn costing. What are the parameters required for yarn costing? The estimation of yarn cost. First raw material cost or clean cotton cost is calculated. Then conversion cost is estimated and added with raw material cost to get yarn cost. Yarn cost is equal to raw material cost plus conversion cost. Conversion cost is the sum of wages and salary, power cost, stores, spare parts cost, packing cost, selling expenses, repair expenses, depreciation, interest and others. Now, one by one, we can see the parameters in detail. First, raw material cost. Here, in case of cotton, we are getting cotton with trash or waste. In spinning process, we have to remove the waste and to make clean cotton and to find out the yarn realization. So first, we have to calculate the clean cotton cost by considering the yarn realization. Clean cotton cost equal to raw material cost into 100 divided by yarn realization minus selling price of different waste. By using example value, we can check the clean cotton value. Suppose we brought cotton bales at the rate of 50,000 rupees per candy. So what would be the rate per kg? One candy is equal to 355.6 kgs. So we brought the bales rupees 50,000 per candy. Per kg is equal to 50,000 divided by 355.6 that is 140.61 rupees. We can take rayon realization as 86 for example. Waste selling price to be calculated the average price per kg of different category of waste. We will get the actual value as per market selling price of different category of waste and the waste percentage we are removing from cotton from the process. The waste categories are blowroom, dropping, liquorine, flat waste, noil waste, hard waste, filter, micro waste and sweeping waste. By calculating the average selling rate of the waste, we will get the correct average price of the selling rate of waste. Without knowing the different category of waste percentage and price, we can calculate the waste price by the following formula. For carded count, the waste per selling price is raw material price into 5.7 percentage. That here, raw material price, we have taken 140.61 rupees per kg into 5.7 percentage is equal to 8.01 rupees. Yarn realization we have taken 86 percentage. Here clean cotton cost equal to raw material cost into 100 divided by yarn realization minus selling price of different waste. Again the answer raw material cost is 140.61 rupees into 100 divided by 
Yarn realization 86 minus 8.01 that is waste price. So here this calculation we will get to the answer 155.49. This value will change yes for we have taking the realization and the raw material cost. So by this calculation we have got the clean cotton cost for carded count. For combed count waste selling price is raw material price into 17 percentage that is here raw material price we have taken 140.61 rupees per kg into 17 percentage means 23.9 rupees per kg. Yarn realization we have taken for combed counts that is 69 percentage. So combed count co clean cotton cost is raw material cost into 100 divided by yarn realization minus selling price of different waste. Answer is 140.61 is raw material cost into 100 divided by yarn realization 69 minus waste price per kg 23.9. The answer we will get 179.88. Here also yarn realization and raw material cost as per our present cotton rate and realization, the clean cotton cost also will get changed. After getting the raw material cost, we can check in detail about the conversion cost. If we add both raw material clean cotton cost plus conversion cost, we will get the yarn cost. Conversion cost one by one we will check. First one is wages and salary. The salary should include all print benefits such as PF, ESI, leave and holiday wages and all other print benefit. Second one is power cost. Power cost as per kilogram is worked out by multiplying units required per kg kilogram of yarn that is UKG unit per kilogram and average cost per unit. If we multiply both together unit per kg and average rupees per unit then we will get to the power cost. Third one is stores spare parts cost. The consumable stores cost includes consume consumption of item like routine replacement items in various departments, lubricants like oil and grease machinery space including electrical space, generator space, etc. The consumption of long life items more than 5 years life like top palm, pliers, spindles, etc. are considered in repair expenses in administrative overhead. Fourth one is packing cost. Standard packing co material cost per kilogram of yarn is obtained by cost of items used packing material in unit packing and dividing by the package weight for each count standard packing material cost per kilogram can be estimated. Fifth one is selling expenses. This expense 
comprises of freight insurance and commission of commission and brokerage expenses next one is repair expenses this consists of repair expenses incurred for building and machinery including electrical routine replacement items having more than 5 years life like top arm spindles etc next is depreciation depreciation is the cost allocated for loss of value for wear and tear of the asset due to use over a period of time next eighth one is interest interest charges consist of interest for term loan and others and for working capital the interest cost for term loan or bank loan and others fixed deposit other loans etc next one is other expenses this include all other office expenses like postage telegram conveyance and traveling expenses audit fees rate rates and taxes etc now the yarn cost is equal to raw material cost plus conversion cost already we have calculated the raw material clean cotton cost and the details of conversion cost also we have discussed both together if we add we will get the yarn cost thanks for watching this video